update regarding another story that I spoke about, which is a really happy update, I have to be honest, because I wasn't the most um, positive when it came to, you know, receiving good news on this, but it has kind of turned around for the better. This is courtesy of Los Angeles Times. It says, Rapidus, rapper, sorry, Theophilus London found safe after being reported missing in LA, family member says. So we would have known that rapper Theophilus London went missing. I was reported missing a couple few weeks back, but had been missing, I think, since June or July or something, which was crazy. Um, his family came out and put out statement, filed an official missing persons report in LA. And then quite soon after, it felt like a few people around town had been seeing him around. Um, one particular guy ended up getting a video partial of him, ended up basically, you know, confronting him in public to the point where I think people suddenly said something to him like, oh, leave me alone. Or something crazy like that and um when the guy reported back he said you know first london clearly wasn't in the right mental state um he wasn't in a good place clearly by looking at him but he was alive so that was some encouraging news and then a couple of days after we hear confirmation from the family that he's fine and safe but so far we've heard no other information as to what actually happened and where he was we can you know um hypothesize and say maybe it clearly was something to do with drugs that maybe led him to this point but it was just sad to see somebody who legitimately was at the forefront of culture was the forefront of you know that alternative um, music scene for a while and kind of you know the main or maybe one of the only person who basically looked like him a young black dude who was making the music that he was making at that time pushing things forward doing really cool collaborations embraced by the fashion community had ties to streetwear ties to sneaker culture like really able to weave all these worlds in together at one time and then suddenly get to a point where he is you know essentially living homeless you know out there in these la streets it's absolutely tragic but it's nice to see that he has been found by his family and hopefully he's going to be on the mend sooner rather than later. So the article says as follows. Um, London's uh, cousin, Mikhail Noel, posted a photo of the 35-year-old musician on Instagram and the caption says, we found Theo, he is safe and well. At this time, the family would love prayers and privacy. Thank you all. Which is a bit, you know, a bit difficult to take considering, you know, they brought the issue to the internet. The internet helped to find him. Um, I think the internet might have found him before the family did. And now that they found him, it's privacy needed. Can you not tell us what happened? Can you not give us a bit of a, you know, a kind of, you know, bullet points of why this guy was missing for so long, why he wasn't reported missing earlier, why he was completely dark from his family since July and stuff like, I don't know, some details, but maybe we're being a bit too nosy. Who knows? It continues. Noel said he appreciated everyone's help in finding his cousin. It's refreshing and rewarding to have such a strong support system of family and friends. Um, the Los Angeles Police Department did not confirm that London had been found. London had not been contacted since. Sorry, London had lost last been in contact with somebody on October fifteenth. Police said that day he left his home in Ventura Boulevard and was last seen on Skid Row. So he must have had some sort of crazy night out on the fifteenth onwards that didn't result in him going back home because that's basically what essentially happened. But for some reason, some people hadn't heard from him since July. And it's obviously, his family hadn't heard from him since October or maybe since before that, but still it's a good thing that he's been found i'm happy about that and hopefully he's on the mend regardless but this maybe is a bit of a cautionary tale as well for artists coming up of just how left things can go you can go for one minute being the you know the toast of paris fashion week collaborating with carl lagerfeld hanging out with kanye west mark ronson all these amazing people and then suddenly it can go completely left where you're legitimately you know up and down skid row looking a bit skittish and clearly not in your best mental state and without a hat that's what i've, I've that's what i knew he was in bad in a bad place i saw that blurry far picture of the office london in la somewhere with no hat on i was like okay cool this guy's in a bad place right now because probably the hat got pawned for some money to buy whatever else he needed to buy but all that aside i'm happy he's back happy he's alive and hopefully he's on the mend and he's got the right people around him because again another thing to note you know during this whole entire search process it felt like a lot of the people that were clout clout you know sucking clout out of him these clout vampires legitimately went quiet and went ghost and didn't want to contribute or help to the effort in terms of searching for him which may they may have the reasons for because they have their own personal issues with the guy but i thought that was a little bit in bad taste i think if it was me i would have been able to put those bygones to one side and help to find him they couldn't do so and that maybe says a lot about his quote unquote friends and who they actually are as people. So hopefully that will be something that will kind of open his eyes and maybe he kind of gets to the point where the only people that he needs to be around are around him to that point. Maybe it's addiction, maybe whatever else. I'm happy he's alive, happy he's safe. 
so um get well soon Fiocas london get well soon sir get well soon